What is up guys, welcome to another video here. Uh, doing something different today. I'm on the big water. I am on Lake Superior today, uh, chasing after one of my favorite fish, Northern Pike. And uh, let's not forget something special up here. Big smallmouth bass uh, in this particular spot. It is uh, a 22 inch size limit on these smallmouth, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so there's giant smallmouth here. I'm hoping there's big pike in this spot. I don't know, uh, never done this before. I'm pumped though, uh, either way. I, I mean, I, I was setting up cameras and uh, there's like 18 inch smallmouth right next to the boat, so <laughs> pretty cool. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both. Um, pike are, is definitely kind of a wild card out on the system. Not a lot of them, but they're absolutely giant. So hopefully I can find one pike and uh, be entertained with some smallmouth today. That's the goal. So yeah, uh, something new, something exciting. I'm pumped. Hopefully uh, it's a success. All right, here we go. On the big lake here. Seeing walleye, seeing smallmouth swimming by. Uh, I was using a tube for a few casts just to just to get the just to catch a smallmouth. But I'm gonna switch to the jerk bait, Death Rise Minnow, brand new from Lee Lures. Got that 20 pound titanium. Uh, this should be good. I'm sure these smallmouth do not see big jerk baits. I'm sure everyone's kind of finesse fishing them right now. So this could be a good thing, or maybe it is the wrong lure. But either way. It's made for teeth. Hoping to uh, get into some big pike here. Water temps are 57, 58, so who knows? Maybe they're not even in the back bays anymore, but I'm sure there's one or two 40 inch gators laying around here somewhere, so. Brand new water, love exploring, especially for a giant pike. I've done a lot of research and uh, some absolute, probably some of the biggest pike live in this lake so it's just a matter of finding that needle in the haystack which who knows could happen today oh gator first gator of the day first follow um seeing a bunch of suckers on the shoreline with perch walleyes and smallmouth so just kind of went up a little bit shallower. There's some nice coontail there. Um, but yeah, finally first flash from a pike. That's cool. Uh, I figured I'd get bit on this jerk bait sooner though. I yeah, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> got him. That's uh, not what we're after, but it's a good start. So cool to know that they're in here. Just a gorgeous Great Lakes Pike. Alrighty there. First Great Lakes, so like Superior Pike. And uh, not real long, but just look how fat these guys are, guys. This is a future 45 incher if it's a female. I mean, that's as cool as it gets right there. Future 45 inches. I've seen pictures, I've done my research, I looked at surveys, and there's some giant fish in here. Um, the thing flashed in and uh, decided to bite on, on, on the death rise. There we go. There we go. Come on. What do I got? Oh boy. Another another gator, right species. But tiny. Uh yeah, that's not exactly target size, but uh target species. Alright. Where's mama? Is mama still back in this bay? That's the question. There we go. There's finally small jaw. There is this awesome pocket in there. And uh, that's what we're after. <laughs> Just flip my tube in that pocket. And uh, Smalley. Gosh, he won't stop fighting. Just gobbled that jig. Gosh. All right. Welcome to Superior, apparently. 
Look how deep that tube is. Wow. I have my jerk bait in the water just because, uh, Okay, first, Lake Superior smallmouth, and uh, on this little tube, that's uh, below average size apparently from what I've researched, but just super thick Great Lake smallmouth. Oh, sweet. I'm liking what I'm doing today. Bye-bye, buddy. All right. See if he's got friends in that pocket. You can see sand, sand on both sides, and then there's just this deep little cut. And uh, that looks dang good. And first cast in there with the tube. There we go. All right, this corner has gators. This corner has gators. I literally just let a boat go through while I was whipping my uh, tube around and uh, they got like a 30 some inch gator right in front of me which kind of kind of was kind of sad but uh, cool to see. All right, I don't need to touch you little guy. But yeah, boat came right through where I'm fishing right here while I was poking around for smallmouth and uh, yeah they got like a 32 incher so there is a pile of gators in this one little section pretty interesting oh my gosh he's got it he's got it he's got it he came back and ate it that's so cool that is so cool all right, Death Rise Minnow is approved by Pike. Gosh, these things are just thick and uh, kind of a lot of them, which is super cool to see. Well, but is there one of size? That's the question. Oh, this is uh, interesting. It's always interesting going to new bodies of water. I do like these fish's attitudes. Oh, I'm on again. On again. How big are you? A little bit bigger. There you go. There you go. That's a nicer one. Gosh, I love this. A little bit bigger. Gosh, they are so pretty in here. I love it. Two on two casts. Yeah, this one's a meaty one. <laughs> oh my gosh, the shoulders on these critters. Incredible. Oh my gosh, the freaking girth on these things. I mean, how big are you? It's like 27 inches and just thick. Okay, I like these animals. Wow, I can only imagine what a 40 inch is like. Well guys, uh, my little adventure has uh, brought me to the back of the slough. Um, I have been up in the front of the boat trying to look for obviously anything, anything of size, any pike, anything like that, but uh, just seeing some of the biggest carp I've ever seen, just giant, giant Great Lakes carp. Um, but yeah, no pike back here. I don't know, I'm going to probably go up into where it kind of looks like a creek see what if there's an open spot to cast there but uh, I think I shouldn't have left the where I started um, definitely fish there um, that's always my problem I just when I get to new body water I just love to drive around look at things especially when it's clear water you learn so much you know just trying new stuff still plenty of time today to uh, get back to where I was and uh, where I was actually you know catching fish but uh, it is cool to explore flipping just giant pot of pelicans behind me 
not much over here. Cool to do something different, but uh, I'm definitely enjoying myself. 40 inch gator would be cool, or a 20 inch smallmouth. I would uh, take anything, but uh, yeah. Just figured I'd give you guys a midday update. Um, super cool to be on Lake Superior though. Oh, nice pike. Nice pike. Dang it, just had a nice follow. That was one I was after. Um, probably, I don't know, low 30s. Just a fat, stout pike. That was a worthy one. I would have netted that one. Just got out of the back bay and uh, back on the program here. Crazy amount of bait. Just passed me. Sitting four feet, casting up to two and a half. A bunch of logs on the four to two and a half foot break. So I figured swim jig would have been a good idea, but let's throw a jerk bait. Oh, he's got it. No, he came up to the surface. Come on, come back. He just threw out the death paws out there. Got him, got him. Ah, oh, that's not the one. It's not the one. Dang it. And he's off. Just switched to the orange. I was using death rise before, but uh, got the death paws out. Something. Something non floaty. Nice thing about this, you can really actually work these pretty shallow. Just gotta give it up rips though. I'm liking this orange color in this clear water. Something just stupid looking out there. Gosh, that's a spawning perch. Huh. Yummy. Hope that didn't get into my eyeball. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I cannot find any more pikes, so I went up deeper here off this edge of this sandbar to my left. There's some nice little weed and cabbage. I've been catching a little bit of cabbage here and there. Um, thinking. The smallmouth, a lot of the smallmouth have moved out of this area, I'm guessing. Yeah, I managed, I don't know what's wrong with my battery. Um, it's brand new. And my uh, boat is pretty much dead, so it looks like I'm going to have to pull to start my motor. I've never done that before. <laughs> so hopefully that works. I'm going to try that soon because... Uh, I don't feel like being stranded at night, six miles, seven miles from the boat launch. That's not exactly a, a good situation I'm in at the moment, but if anything, I can probably start it with my trolling motor battery. So that's that's where I'm at right now, catching perch on uh, smallmouth tubes. There we go. I did get bit. There we go. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Mr. Small Jaws. Oh my gosh, it's a tank. It's my biggest smallmouth, possibly. Oh my gosh, did you see that jump? That's a giant fish. Giant fish. That's a giant. That's a giant. No, 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 no. Come on, stay hooked. Stay hooked. I just switched spots. I was sick of going in shallow. I was looking on Google images and uh, it, it paid off. It paid off big time. Something did something different than everyone else was doing. And come on, that's a giant. Dang it. Dang it, that's my biggest smallmouth. Gosh. Get off the boat. Come on, he's wrapped funny. Gosh, these guys will not stop fighting. Oh my gosh. Oh, the hook is almost out. Oh yes, that is a Great Lake smallmouth right there. 
Holy shnikes. My battery's dead. <laughs> and uh, I got rewarded big time. Wow, I've never caught a smallmouth like that. What is that thing? That is just disgusting. All right, boat passed me and did not stop. I might have myself a, a, a nice little spot here. Holy shnikes. <laughs> what is that thing? Okay, tube worked. Uh, thank you, Mr. Andrew Kruger, for uh, letting me, giving me some intel on uh, what baits to use for smallmouth. This little tube is magic. Look at that thing. It's like a carp. Oh, I can't wait to bump it. That's my first fish over 20, no doubt. Has to be. All right, let's see if I broke 20 inches. Has to be. This thing is uh, much bigger than anything I've ever caught before. Jeez, look at that guy. <laughs> Great Lake smallmouth fishing. Oh, never done it before. And um, this thing is absolutely amazing. How big are you? <laughs> oh my gosh, 20 and a half. I did it. <laughs> gosh, what a freak. This is not even a legal fish. Size limit up here is 22 inches. What in a beautiful, beautiful animal. I can't believe they get bigger. I've heard of guys getting them up to 24 inches, which is stupid. Gosh, incredible. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. What are you, man? Go and make some babies. That is such an incredible fish. Woo. Hope you guys got to see that. Came all the way out of the water. Super cool, super cool. All right, um, let's do that again. <laughs> I, I broke one goal today. I wanted a 40 inch pike, but I also said 20 inch smallmouth and uh, did that, so I'm happy. <laughs> all righty then, set up for the day. I'm using a seven foot medium action SLX rod, which is uh, awesome. You know, if you don't want to spend $200 on a rod, but you're looking to, you know, get a nice mid-class rod that uh, it doesn't break the bank, the SLX rod um, is pretty cool. I've used it today, and uh, I kind of, kind of enjoying it. I'm using a thousand Stratic that I borrowed from uh, Michael. I don't even know if he thinks. I don't even know if uh, he knows that I have this combo right now. This is his, but uh, I enjoyed that fight. <laughs> Super cool. I've never tried this before on the Great Lakes. Um, obviously, I see the pictures all the time of the guides catching, you know, giant fish like that. I don't know why I haven't done it earlier. I've got a Howie's tube, super small little tube with a quarter ounce jig, eight pound mono as my leader. It worked. Um, yeah, this is cool. Hopefully uh, another one happens here soon. <laughs> Target size. Oh my gosh, uh, that's a new one. <laughs> uh, nice size perch on a popper. I've caught basically every species on a popper and uh, I think I just got a new one. I don't know why I'm throwing a popper because nothing's happened, but <laughs> here's a nice Nice little perch, I guess, to uh, end the day, almost. <laughs> Very interesting. I just slid up into the sand and uh, uh, kind of marshy area, but it's sandy, which is very interesting to me. Maybe I'll just get on a crazy uh, topwater perch bite here. Who would have thought my first topwater fish of the year would be a perch? <laughs> That's uh, pretty nuts. I <laughs> get, wow, it's so weird. Well, that's gonna wrap up the first 40 inch pike hunt of the year. Couldn't make it happen, but uh, got something cool. 
my first 20 inch smallmouth so and biggest smallmouth obviously that thing was absolutely amazing um super cool exploring new water um, i'm looking forward to see what the season brings exploring this uh particular body of water for giant pike i know they're in here they're somewhere obviously the big ones are not shallow anymore um i wish i did this you know a couple weeks ago probably had a better shot at uh finding one of those i've heard that they uh can get over 45 inches in this body of water uh, i don't know what i would do with myself if that actually happened but uh definitely gonna try pretty dang hard this year uh, when muskies are slow and whatnot uh, why not try for pike so very excited about this year especially um on Lake Superior, uh, super cool. Sorry guys, the musky content has been uh, virtually impossible to get. Lee and I were out, what, three days and uh, couldn't get it done in uh, down in the home waters in Madison. So, I don't know, uh, we'll probably head somewhere to uh, try to catch, catch a musky because obviously we can't do it in Wisconsin for whatever reason. But um, yeah, so stay tuned to that. Um, I don't know what else more, uh, might do some dogfish here soon so yeah gonna have to wait on the musky content uh, it's been a struggle bus but um, I'm pumped about this water uh, hopefully do this soon again I love 40 inch pike I've only caught two of them so if I can get one up here in northern Wisconsin that would be incredible but guys thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one